First of all, I want to thank some Strategic Araştırmalar Merkezi for organizing this conference. Uh, my, issue, my subject is water as a tool of war, and the, my case study is during Arab Spring. I began with the water security definition because it is needed because these attacks and the intervention to the water resources and the infrastructures uh, directly affect the water security of people and the countries and the region. Increasing human activities and climate change have created a great pressure on water resources in terms of both quality and quantity. It was an uh, unequivocal fact that there is a water shortage in the world and the problem will affect lives of billions of people in the upcoming years. Water resources might serve as a driving force for both peace and war, especially in the Middle East. Policies to be pursued by states could lead to a cooperation or a conflict. If there is a no present agreement on basin, it is seen that the use of water resources is directly proportional to water balances in the basin. Even though water is not a direct cause of war, it is observed that it has lost its technical feature and is directly affected by political balances in the Middle East. Water might serve as a cause of either cooperation or a conflict depending on the interests of the states. This situation makes water resources a national priority issue in the regions especially such as Middle East where water is limited resource. Since water resources are likely to entail conflicts in the recent years, global water problems are considered in the status of high politics. While the use of water resources might lead to a conflict among states, communities, towns, water resources might also become a primary target with the aim of weakening and seizing control of the area during wars and conflicts. Thus, they might be a great strategic importance during these periods. As seen in the past, as, for example, in World War II, especially dams and pipelines for water coins have been among primary targets during conflicts. We witnesses without using water as a tool of war during so-called Arab Spring or Arab uprising and beyond. Before talking about ISIS this intervention through water resources and infrastructures, we can talk about other examples which are observed during Arab Spring. You know, in Libya, there is a big project which is built by a great man-made river. During the Arab Spring, it was observed that water structures in the Libya were attacked. 1,300 wells were drilled for the great man-made river projects carried or out in four stage and has been in operation for two decades. The entire Great Man Made River projects, the world's largest drinking water pipeline projects, consist of 3,500 kilometer long network of pipes and reservoirs constructed in five deserts, weighing six tons and being composed of four meter diameter cylinder pipes the pipeline conveys 3.5 million cubic meters of water to northern Libya, which is sufficient to supply billion liters, I'm sorry, 1,000 1, liters of water per person per day in Libya. That the pipeline conveying water to Tripoli, this is the west part of the Libya, was under the control of pro Gaddafi groups and the pipeline was sabotaged through the cutting of water flow by the very same groups were in the news during those days. I'm talking about November 2011. The UN reports and experts suggest that Gaddafi sabotaged this, his projects, which he always showed a major success to prevent the people in Tripoli from accessing water. It was also claimed in the news that the pumps were broken and the pipeline was damaged. The UN officials and experts had taken steps in order to repair the pipeline and to provide the people with water as soon as possible back then. We have a, a similar case in Syria. 
Uh, in, during the conflict process in September 2012, the main water pipeline in Aleppo was damaged and the people in the city couldn't access drinking water for a long time. In May 2014, Syrian government's artillery hit the main pipeline supplying Aleppo with water. Being the largest city of Syria, Aleppo, Aleppo was flooded after direct hit on the water pipelines, leaving the city without water. Such attacks being carried on Syria, where the city, civil war still prevails, will worsen the current humanitarian crisis across the country, which will lead to migration flows both within and out of the country. Also, another important basin of Syria in Orantes Basin, which is provided a quarter of the agricultural production and a third of industrial production in this basin. The distribution of population, agriculture, and industrial activities are largely related to the availability and access to the water resources. The center of the Orantes Basin was a stronghold of the Ba'ath Party, became a protest hotspot, and Ba'ath forces have damaged 90% of water infrastructures of the basin since 2011. This kind of damages of water infrastructures causes lack of water, have the difficulty in water access. Water scarcity causes population movements, decreases in agricultural products, confl conflicts between groups who competed for scarce sources. And we are come to the ISIS intervention. You know, the Euphrates and the Tigris is the, one of the important basins uh, of the Middle East. Uh, the an average annual discharge of the Euphrates and the Tigris Basin River is 84 billion cubic meters, which equals to the average annual flow of the Nile River. The Euphrates Tigris, Tigris Basin is of great importance in terms of being the source of energy, food, and drinking for water for Turkey, Syria, and Iraq, which are the main riparians to the basin. The riparians have been working on developing the basin water since the 1950s. The population growth, urbanization, agriculture, and the industrial activities, as well as periodic dry spells in the basin, put pressure on water resources in terms of both quality and quantity. Recently, the climate change has appeared appreciate as another factor that affects the hydrology of the basin. It is estimated that climate change will create pressure on the Euphrates Tigris River in the upcoming years. Recently, ISIS attacks on water resources and structures in the region have brought up the strategic importance of water resources once again. ISIS has been using water resources as a weapon throughout through cutting off water flow of the villages, resisting against the rules set by ISIS. In Syria, Tishreen and Tapka dams are the main water structures on the Euphrates River in Syria. These dams are built for hydropower and irrigation, and ISIS seems to have gained control of the entire Euphrates Valley. ISIS cut the domestic water sup supply for the Aleppo. In Iraq, which is located in a semi-arid uh, arid climate zone. The amount of the rainfall has declined. Water use, especially in densely population areas, has increased, and 50% of water has been wasted due to mismanagement of water resources, leakages in pipelines over the last, five, last few years. Iraq is facing water shortages. Some 85% of water resources in Iraq can, has been used in agriculture to grow wheat. The fact that ISIS seizes control over dams and cut, cut off water flow negatively affects wheat production and livestock. Besides, drinking water and the power generation is also provided through dams. In other words, the intervention has negative impacts of on drinking water supply and power generation as well. Seizing control of the dams on the Euphrates and the Tigris rivers, ISIS prevents people in the region from having access to water, causes them to turn towards alternative unsanitary water resources, leads to increase in waterborne diseases, and causes those people to migrate to other regions through the water cuts. 
And we are to if we are talking about the dams, ISIS, uh, uh, ISIS in inter uh, intervention of ISIS. In April uh, 2014, ISIS took control of Fallujah, which is located on the Euphrates River, and opened the dam's gates in order to await the Iraqi military forces approach the city. So, as a result, Iraqi military forces couldn't approach the city, of course. As a result of this flood, 40,000 people were affected by the flood. In June 2014, the Iraqi military forces defended the Hadith Adam, the second largest gener generator of hydroelectricity of Iraq's power system, and located on the Euphrates Dam for Islamic State militants. Conflicts still continue around this dam. Since in October last month, when ISIS started to seize control of Alambar, it has been suggested that ISIS could take the control of the Haditha Dam. The dam supplies 30% of Iraq's electricity power, as well as irrigation and drinking water for Baghdad. Seizing control of the aforesaid Haditha Dam comes to mean that ISIS will be able to control Baghdad's water and the energy security. Between August 8th 8, 8 of August and the 13, 2012, we are talking about the Mosul Dam. The biggest dam in Iraq was captured by ISIS. ISIS. The dam of which its construction was completed 1984 is located about 50 kilometers northwest to, of the city of Mosul. It was built to supply drinking water, hydroelectric power for irrigation and flood preventation purposes. The dam with 750 megawatt power generation capacity is located on the Tigris River. The power generated by dam supplies power to six, uh, 675,000 households in Iraq. The dam is constructed on the ground consisting on water-soluble gypsum, limestone, and mar. The bedrocks beneath the Mussel Dam are karstic structures with wrecked with water, which creates large sinkholes and caves in the area. The, of these problems of the dam was noticed when water was started to kept in the dam and major sinkholes have appeared in body of dam and its reservoir. This, the dam is not stable condition. There are still leakages. Cement grouting is performed for rehabilitation of dam. It was not repaired during the conflict. It poses a great risk for both Mosul and Baghdad due to the possibility that it might collapse and potential flood risks. And in September 2014, located on the Tigris River, the north of Baghdad, the Sudur Dam, which was sized, seized by ISIS, supplies the Balat Ruz. Uh, this is the area southeast of Diyala and where sheets are densely populated with water. ISIS took control of the Sudur Dam and cut off the water flow to the region. Being aware of the vital importance of water and acting accordingly in the region, ISIS uses water resources with the purpose of obtaining strategic power. Uh, strategic power uh, as they do both with other fossil sources in the region. Seizing control of water resources is as important as man managing energy transmission lines and oil wells in the region. It's worried that the control of water resources in the region could trade water scarcity, water security of the both Syria and Iraq in forthcoming days. Thank you very much. Maraqlı çox belə original belədiyə çıxışıdır. Birinci dəfədir belə maraqlı çıxış çıxışa qulaq asırdıq bu mövzuda.